Paul testifies in one of his letters uh, to the churches that he's not ashamed to preach the gospel. And, I mean, for me personally, reading Paul's letters um, and being up to Paul's letters in, a, in, in my biblical readings um, has indeed been a spiritual uh, has been a spiritual calling, or it's been um, almost synchronized to uh, the needs of the spirit. Because here I am, out in Thursday Island at the moment, was previously in Cairns and Darwin, and there I was suffering such spiritual affliction and caught up in the um, these negative spirits, which have hindered my own walk. Uh, and, and, and probably my own um, my own ability to bring forth good meat in the past few months uh, because of these afflictions. Um, and through Paul's letters, I understand now uh, and I have greater emphasis and greater clarity behind the tribulations that we face. And, 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 and I think one of the great things that Paul emphasised in his epistles was that um, we, we are not to be uh, led away captive through these uh, negative spirits and these emotions um, and these afflictions that we face. I think for me personally, there's been so much spiritual triumph and, and that came in the first week or so uh, in my time up in Darwin. Um, and there was, there was a great realization and, and revelation made that it's time to put away um, all of the worries of the afflictions that I'm facing and to more so focus on ministering the gospel to my brothers and sisters with the wisdom that I have and all of this knowledge, all of this wisdom and the fact that I am courageous enough, courageous enough not to boast but courageous enough to go out and um, go on this solo uh, ministry go on this solo uh, in expedition uh, really is enough to, to trigger the devil because um, there are many great revelations uh, um, that can be experienced out here. And second to that, there's also great works that can be done out here. Just you yourself ministering the gospel as a solo servant of Christ is a powerful thing. Your experiences that you have, your testimony, your own calling from Christ, the highest power of all, and his Father, it places the devil's kingdom in a real place of instability, and you can rock the world of many from around the world, no matter where it is you're ministering from. And so we are to not only put away the world because this in itself is a journey and it's been just under a year now since I've come to this calling and realization that it's time to serve Christ with my whole heart and soul and perhaps after all of the wisdom and all of the studies that I've undertaken hours upon hours per day it's time to start ministering and to be a truly, truly uh, courageous and um, successful servant of Christ as a missionary or as an apostle, whatever it is uh, that you're calling may be. The church, the spirit what I've come to understand in these past few weeks and probably even before that the spirit is guiding brothers and sisters whether they be solo whether they be blood members of family we are being aligned we our church is building we are growing and this complements the fact that we are indeed living in the end times. I believe the scriptures uh, actually say that um, in the last days, the 
angel will come and mark those in the forehead who have been called. That is the mark that those who are lucky enough, who have the Holy Spirit, uh, should be uh, stamped with. Not the other mark that is likely to uh, come to fruition in coming times. And not only will we be marked, but we will be led into the wilderness to places like this. And we will find one another. And in Darwin, I was lucky enough to meet my now second family in the truth. And I was able to establish a real church there of people who are in this truth and are aware of the coming end times prophecy. And the same thing is now taking place right here in North Queensland. Not presently here in Thursday Island as we speak, but that's likely to be a whole other ministry in itself, uh, Lord willing. But I have a new family who are building in Cairns. And if there's one thing I can come away with from this whole experience, it's that uh, I understand that it's time to grow courage, to grow strength, to be strengthened by the Holy Spirit, to be strengthened by the gospel, to be strengthened by Paul's afflictions, shipwrecked three times, stoned, many other afflictions. It's time to suffer Christ's afflictions. It's time to go through the hardships and forget about all other spiritual afflictions and temptations that we're going through because they're not worth it for a world of eternity. Yes, this world is great. This world is amazing. Just have a look at this place by the Almighty Creator. Simply remarkable. But folks, if this is good, how much better could the Kingdom of Heaven be, truly? And this is where we need to overcome those spiritual afflictions from the devil, all of his temptations, all of his, all of his um, tribulations, all of his trials, these are to be met with absolute joys and blessings because he's getting scared, he's getting fearful that you're being led by the spirit and that conviction is inside of you is lifting you up. To a point where you need to start ministering. It only makes sense. It's only it's only a logical thing. If Satan's already got you, there's no need to attack for him to attack you. But if you're in Christ and if you're devoting your life to living in his ways and you're establishing your ministry, if you're going around the country building your church. Absolutely, you are going to face trial and tribulation. And so, be not ashamed of preaching the gospel, fellow Christians. Be not ashamed of it. Because our experiences, our revelations personally, Christ wants us to share them with others, with other brothers and sisters. If you can common estab uh, establish common ground with other people who are in the same predicament as what you are, they might not even be in the same predicament as what you are, but you can teach them that if you're having these revelations from Christ, you can be brought to the truth as well. Because he is all that he is inside of us. He's his kingdom is inside of us. His temple is inside of us. And so we must embark on a journey to not only nourish that temple, but to unlock the temples in the hearts of our other brothers and sisters. It's through that, folks, we are we are unstoppable in Christ. That'll be all for this part.
park. And uh, enjoy this magnificent view. This is uh, Thursday Island. Very top of Australia.